Now, say in this example, a river 800 meter wide flows at the rate of 6 km per hour. A swimmer who can swim at 10 km per hour in a still water wishes to cross the river straight. Along what direction must he strike? What should be his resultant velocity and how much time he would take? So, first we will see here each and every part of this question one, one by one. Suppose you have taken a river is this, these are the two banks of the river. River is flowing this side with what is speed? See here that is a uh, 6 kilometer per hour. So, this point I have chosen A and the river is flowing to this side with the speed of 6 kilometer per hour. He has to go to cross a state, it means he has to reach the point B. So, he must strike or the swim along this direction somewhere. So, that should be the velocity of the man is 10 kilometer per hour. This angle is theta. This is also 6. Now, easily you can calculate first along what direction must he strike it means theta you have to calculate. You can see here sin theta is equal to simply 6 by 10 that is 3 by 5 here that means theta is equal to 37 degree. You can see that is in trigonometric table these values. Now, see theta is equal to 37. So, the man should make his strokes this 90 degree also angle is here. So, 90 plus 37. So, man should swim 90 plus 37 that means how much is here 127 degree with the downstream. But if you see this angle that will be at 53 degree. So, with the upstream he must swim at the angle of 53. So, angle with downstream we can write angle with downstream is equal to 90 plus 37 that is 127 degree. Now, after this is was the A part. Now, we can calculate B part. What should be his resultant velocity? So, we can write here in this B, V is equal to under root of 10 square minus 6 square. Already we have done this formula in application all this. So, that will be here V is equal to under root of 100 minus 36 that will be here 8 kilometer per hour. So, the resultant velocity will be along this direction that is coming here 8 kilometer per hour. Now, I have to calculate time. How long does he take? So, we can write T is equal to this is a 800 meter. 800 meter that means we can write a 0.8 kilometers. So, that is 0.8 kilometer divided by 8 kilometer per hour and that will be here T is equal to 0 0.1 hour is equal to 6 minute. It means man will take 6 minute to cross the river.